All right, we got the 2019 Toyota Camry. This is the SE. You can tell it's the SE because it's got that special grill on the front, the honeycomb grill. You got the glassed over emblem right here, that Toyota emblem that's glassed over. That's the uh, Toyota Safety Sense P. That's the multi-millimeter wave radar there on the front. You got an in-dash camera up there as well that helps with the lane departure, the pedestrian detection, dynamic radar, cruise control, all those cool features. I mean, this is a stylish car. In 2018 is when they redid this, put it on TNGA, Toyota's new global architecture. They lowered the body lines, lowered the roof lines, gets better fuel efficiency, more power. We got the spoiler back here because it's the SE. Little dual exhaust back there. It's a stylish little whip. Let's take it for a spin. So now the cool thing about the 2019 Camrys is they've made Apple CarPlay standard on these. So you've got Apple CarPlay here. I have it plugged into my phone right here into the USB and it pulls up my phone. So phone, messages, all that cool stuff is here. I've got my Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, my podcasts, all of this stuff. And let me see here. Swipe over, Pandora. So all music apps, they just added Waze to Apple CarPlay, which is a cool new feature. And then with every uh, 2019 Camry, you also get SOS and Service Connect. So check this out. You got a button up here. Connecting to the emergency call center. To cancel, please press the button again. So this is really cool because uh, you're connected to emergency services. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Welcome to the emergency response center. If this is a sales demonstration, or if you press the SOS button by mistake, we can end the call. If this is an emergency, we can connect you to an operator. Please say operator or goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Sweet. So if you ever do accidentally hit that somehow, I mean, it's a glass little plastic case over there, uh, but you can hold that and you'll actually contact emergency services if something was uh, wrong, if there was an emergency. Um, so that's a really cool safety feature that's now a standard on there. You get a three year trial subscription to that. You also get the service connect with that as well. So it's connected to your local, uh, hopefully with us at your Oxmoor Toyota dealership where you come back and see us for service when the, you know, if a tire light, oil change, uh, maintenance required light pops up on here, it contacts our dealership and our service department reaches out to you, sees uh, when they can schedule you to come in and get some service done. So um, automatic high beams, I've already got this set up. You took, put it on auto and then push it forward. So we've got that set up here, that's this button. And then I wanna make sure my lane departure's turned on. So if you see there, lane departure turned on, steering assist is active. So all my safety features are set up on this one. So there's my uh, lane departure screen, my uh, driver assist screen. So lane departure, and then when I turn on the dynamic radar cruise control, that'll have that set up. Mention this all the time with Toyota, but just how quiet and smooth our cars are is phenomenal. This is our new dynamic force, uh, four cylinder engine. Like I mentioned before, you get better fuel efficiency and also more power. Those two don't usually go hand in hand, but Toyota makes it happen. Peeking out, peeking out, let's go. So we're driving through downtown Louisville on a beautiful fall day. So while it's kind of quiet, I want to show you something. So if you look here on the steering wheel, you've got the talk system. So you can talk to the Entune radio system. So Entune's our radio system. This is Entune 3.0. You can push this button down and talk right to the radio system. Uh, but I want to hold this phone button down, the answer button, and I want to talk to Siri on my phone. I'm just trying to call my wife. Don't want to do that. Not right now. There we go. There's 
Siri. Hi, Siri. Hello, Chuck. Siri, find the closest gas station to me. Oops, let's do that again. Hi, Siri, find the closest gas station to me. The nearest one I see is Shell on South First Street. Let me know if you want more information. Uh, give me directions to that one. Talk to Siri. Hi Siri, find the best burger restaurant next to me, close to me. The best rated option I find is Sidebar, which averages four and a half stars and is moderately priced. Let me know if you want more information. Get directions to Grind Burger. Getting directions to Grind Burger Kitchen. I go. Starting route to Grind Burger Kitchen. And this is all being powered by my phone. So this is my iPhone. This is using Apple Maps. Use the left lane to take exit five on the left to merge onto I-65 towards Nashville. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go back. I just wanted to show that feature. Hey, uh, and directions. Directions to where? No, and navigation. Okay, I've stopped navigating. Thank you. And the map's still up and following us. And again, this is all just on my phone. It's the future. The future's here. I'm going to go 71 and I'm going to turn on one of my favorite features, which is the dynamic radar cruise control. I mentioned that lane departure before. If you look there in that center screen, you'll see how it'll light up uh, when it's reading the lines outside of the car. So it reads solid and dotted yellow and white lines. Um, that's the lane departure. So it's reading those. And if I were to cross one of those, it would beep to alert me unless I have my turn signal on. So I'll show you that feature here. I think I'm safe. All right, I'm just going to drift over. And it beeped, it lights up orange, and it also uh, turns the steering wheel slightly back towards the lane that I was in. Now it's not a self-driving vehicle, I was still in control that entire time, but it's a great alert system. And this right here in the center lets me know that it's working, which is fantastic. Alright, so let me set the cruise control. So here on the steering wheel, set the cruise control. Set at 66 miles an hour, and so those three bars appear. Now that's the dynamic radar cruise control. So that's the distance between me and the car in front of me. It's approximately 160 feet. Uh, this button here on the center, if I hit that, it drops it down to two. I hit it one more, it drops it down to one. So that's about 100 feet. So that'll keep me more with the flow of traffic. And so uh, this is I-71, speed limit's 55. I got it set to 66. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit just to be responsible. Chances are I'm not going to come up on anybody to actually slow me down because everybody flies on I-71. Just how people do in Louisville. But yeah, me personally, when I'm driving, I tend to have that driver assist screen up that shows the car in the center, shows the two white lines, and then the blue lines there indicating the distance. So you can change that on the fly. Got it back to 160 feet, approximately, 130 feet approximately, and then 100 feet approximately. Let's see if this guy gets over and makes me slow. Nope, he's just going to keep on flying by. This will definitely kick in once we get to the water soon. But on I-71, it's kind of, everybody goes all out. So we'll just stay nice and responsible. Keep an eye out for that ladder on that car. Make sure it doesn't fly off and hit my nice new car. And you notice the navigation still following? I can still talk to Siri if I need to. 
get directions to the closest Starbucks. Getting directions to Starbucks. Go there. Starting route to Starbucks. In 2.8 miles, take exit 5 to merge onto I-264 towards Watterson Expressway. Sweet, that's going the way we're going anyways. So, we'll just keep following that. We'll leave navigation on for a little bit. Drive the speed limit so I can show you the braking system. You can very easily speed up to 80, 85 on this, even though that's not responsible. This car is so smooth it would feel like I'm driving like I am now. But we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it responsible. In two miles, take exit 5 to merge onto a 264 towards Watterson Expressway. Okay. got some vehicles next to me once I get clear a little bit I'll show you the lane departure again see if I can demonstrate how the steering wheel turns safely because I always know when the lane departure is reading uh, the lines because it'll light up white there in that center screen it's a great indicator to know that it's being safe in the winter time around here when they really brine the roads which our city loves to do and basically paint the roads white with salt and whatever else is in that uh, sometimes they can wash out the lines you know because it's white substance on a white substance the whole road looks white so I like to know when it's able to actually read the lines that's all in this camera up here behind the dash Still reading the lines, I'm gonna start to drift over a little bit and watch what the steering wheel does. See that steering wheel twist a little bit? That's just a quick little guide back into your lane. It's not gonna follow the lane in this car. It's not gonna, you know, steer for you or take over. It's just gonna give a reminder, hey, you should be heading back this way. Great little safety feature designed just to keep you alert. Just got a notification the fuel's low. Use the right two lanes to take exit 5 to merge onto a 264 towards Watterson Expressway. Okay. Oh, that's what that little... There was a warning light on the navigation. Take I didn't know what it was. Exit. I am. It was that there. Thanks for the heads up. Did you see the guy standing there with the orange hoodie on? There was also cones. He was kind of just doing what the cones do, which I don't think I would do. But all right. So if this semi gets over, like he's saying he's going to do, I'm going to let Stay him get over. Stay in the left two lanes. I'm going to let him get over. So I took over at that point. Dynamic radar, cruise control. If he were to have gotten over, uh, it would have. In 2.3 miles, take exit 20 onto US 60 towards St. Matthews. And navigation. Okay, I've stopped navigating. Thank you. All right, back to the demonstration. So, cruise control. Dynamic radar cruise control. I'll reset that. Again, so, all right, watch when this guy gets over. It's going to show me a car in front of the blue line and my blue line, and now it's braking automatically. Here's my foot down here. I pulled it back. So, it was automatically braking for me to keep me approximately 100 feet away from him. So, it's showing me there in that center that there's a vehicle in front of me, and it's reading it. So now I feel confident in the dynamic radar cruise control system that it knows what it's doing and it's taking control. Now at any point I can take over as well by applying the brake or even turning off on the steering wheel. But you don't have to do it like you do in traditional uh, cruise control, which frankly I don't even see the point of anymore now that we've got dynamic radar cruise control. It's fantastic. In regular cruise control you're always adjusting the speed or stopping it and trying to turn it back on where you don't have to touch the pedals. And, Play that old game before you run into the back of somebody. This system does it all for you. Plays all those games. Now the semi's getting over. And it's lighting up. I know it's reading it. And it's braking for me. Now I'm going to get over. Because my exit's coming up. 
continue keeping in cruise control and as you see now that he's not there anymore it's not picking him up it's going back to get me to my max speed speed has me kind of in his blind spot so I'm gonna pick it up a little bit there's our exit going back to Oxmoor Toyota that was the lane departure gave me an alert Try to get over as much as I can there. Sorry, fellas. All kinds of stuff going on today. A lot of people stopped on the highway. Okay, I'm going to turn off cruise control. Take over fully. Because this is our exit. Just in time for rush hour traffic. Everybody leaves work at 3 o'clock in Louisville. See, I want to go back to my main screen. I'm going to my Amazon Music and just see how this works. Let me go to stations. Oh, Oxford Toyota's calling me. This is Chuck. Hi, it's Linda at the front desk. Hi, Linda. I have Mr. Ern Spiker. Hi. I have Mr. Ern Spiker on the line for you. He says you're handling his vehicle. I am. I'm actually in a car right now shooting a video. Um, can you send him to my voicemail in my office and I will give him a call as soon as I get back? At the 6905 or the 7141? The 7141. You got it. Thank you so much. Will do. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. So that's how that works. I was looking for music. I don't want it. Let's do popular. I don't want you all seeing my taste of music and judging me. But yeah, phone call comes in. You just hit the answer button and it talks. And I want to make a point that my phone isn't paired. That's uh, not Bluetooth connected to the car at all. All I did was plug in my iPhone into the USB. So if you've got friends or family that want to plug in and take over with their music or anything like that, all they got to do is plug their phone in and have an iPhone. Really cool system.
I'm also probably not the best example because my data plan is terrible. That's how long it takes, even when I'm inside. Also want to mention that every one of our vehicles that we sell here at Oxmoor Toyota that's newer certified has the pulse braking system on the back. So that third brake light will actually pulse. It doesn't flash, but it'll pulse to let drivers alert. Uh, I think we were filming behind me as I was driving, so you'll probably see that flash, not flash, pulse five times uh, when I would apply the brake. It's a safety system designed to catch the driver behind you and their attention to keep you safe. So that's the 2019 Camry with a ton of cool features.